representing the Matrix Gym, weighing in at 69 kilos, with a fight record of 13 fights, 10 wins and 3 losses, Frank Giorgi. <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 69 kilos, 42 fights, 25 wins and 14 losses, Andrew Keo. Andrew Keo and Frank Georgie ready to get it on. Andrew Keo, you, you'll see a much improved fighter. He, he was pretty much training himself uh, in Mackay uh, at the gym, running the gym, and of course doing everything that goes with that. But uh, he's taken it really seriously, relocated now to the Sunshine Coast. And as you see, Joey Hilton in his corner. In the blue corner, Nathan Carnage Corbett looking over the shoulder of Frank Georgie. You've got to be feeling confident with uh, Carnage in your corner. And as I said, uh, a real step up in class for Frank Georgie with only 13 fights. He's fighting Andrew Keogh, who in the WMC ratings, the junior middleweight uh, rankings, Keogh's ranked number three. So uh, Georgie looking to uh, pour his way into the WMC ratings by taking on a big name like Keogh in that division. A huge step up in class. There is Carnage. Well, the Carnage uh, will be fighting on the 10th of December. Yes. The Gold Coast Convention Centre. What a big night. That promises to be another quality promotion. Nice straight right hand there from Andrew Keogh. And considering he has fought most of his pro career from far north Queensland, racking up 42, this 43 odd fights is quite a feat. A well, lot of kilometres in the middle. There's been a bit of a globe trotter, Keo. He's even fought in Sydney this year, earlier this year on the JNI and i promotion. Uh, we saw Keo fight uh, Eli Madigan in uh, what was a brutal fight in Sydney. It was great uh, full tie rules and uh, was certainly entertaining, but uh, relocated after that fight. Cracking leg kicks there from both men. Keo with that defensive triangle, very tight. And the hands right up there. A nice front kick right on the button. Seems at this stage anyway, Frank Georgie almost happy to play the counter punching, counter kicking role, not looking to initiate too much, more than holding his own but allowing okay, right, Andrew right, right. Keogh to bring the fight to him. Well, that's right, Andy, but uh, he has got to be careful, George. You can't let uh, Keogh get too far ahead on the scorecards. The, the okay, counter-fighting right, right, game's right, good, right. but uh, you've got to be keeping the points that coming. And also, of course, the, the, uh, the judges will score aggression. So the more aggressive fighter, more busy fighter will, uh, if it's a close fight, will be awarded uh, the round. from Keo, that found the money. Beautiful clubbing right hand there, just got through the guard, and you can see the eyes there of Georgie looking a little bit red. Yeah. Looks like yourself after a big night out. <laughs> In my younger years, of course. <laughs> nice use of the knee there from Andrew Keo. Straight for the solar plexus. Look at that crowd in the background. They are loving oh, this. And to the roof. People piled up to the roof. It's absolutely capacity filled. Queensland Thai Boxing Promotions, Josh Sexton, doing a, done a fantastic job. They certainly have. They have promoted this thoroughly. And another good crowd for kickboxing. Bell Sounds, they tap gloves and head back to the corners and entertaining an interesting opening of three minutes. Well, instructions from the corner there of uh, Georgie, but Keo is uh, a fighter with renewed vigour and of course a lot more experience with 40 on. That's Stephen NG, no excuses right there. Recently beaten by Sonny Michelangelo at Southport for one of the regional titles in the boxing. He was ringside last night at Butterbean on the Gold Coast. A massive weekend up in these parts. Butterbean night one and this night two as both men come out in round number two with some urgency in their hands. And Georgie, for the first time this fight, bringing the fight to Andrew Keogh. Well, he's going to have to really fire up the Frankie Georgie, because Keogh dominating. Nice right hand from Keogh, landing uh, just over the guard of Georgie. Push kicks to keep him at range to measure with the hands. 
Georgie centering, and oh, that is nice work from Keo. Limits his man's opportunities by moving onto the front foot and into the ropes. Brian Murphy restarts. A nice two punch combination that time from Georgie. Front kick there from Keo. Round kick with no authority whatsoever. Oh, getting caught with the right hand, Georgie on the back foot. Keo's stalking forward, closing the gap nicely, Andy. He is, and he's nice with his hands, isn't he? Very fluent. He's bringing them through nicely. Oh, yeah. Georgie! Yeah. His best punch of, of the night. <laughs> Heard the instructions from the blue corner. Oh, the inside thigh taking uh, the balance of Frankie Georgie there. Using the right hand to block that high round kick. Five tie rules, we're halfway through round number two. The two clash knees, both looking for the solar plexus. Georgie on the front foot. We go full tie rules next up, State of Origin War. Into the grapple, negation, because there, there is just no room to work the knees. Murph straight onto it, breaks the fighters, gives them room, spinning back fist, attempted from uh, Keo. Looks great on many times, a low percentage shot. Looking for that inside of the front leg there of Frank Georgie. Slightly better round for Georgie now. It is. And he's, uh, he's bringing it on a little bit more, but he really needs to step up just a little bit more. Keo starting to tire now by the look of it. See the sponsorship signage everywhere over the Chandler Arena as the two points go at it. Exchange big blows. Georgie getting on top in the neutral corner. End of the round. What an end for Frankie Georgie. Well, I tell you what, he might have just pinched that round. He might have just pinched that round with the flurry there, Frankie Georgie. That was sensational stuff from him. He got a real ahead of steam going and just unloaded on Keo in the neutral Masachi corner. You keep going, punch, punch, and let him off. Kick on the end of everything. Okay, in the gravel, be the first. Hit. Well, He's very calculated in the corner, but a sense of urgency after the last 20 seconds in the round. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm giving it a round to piece. I give the first round to uh, to Keo, and I'll give this. I'll let uh, Frankie Georgie pinch that uh, second round. So it's a round to piece. Here we go, the third and final round. Modified tie rules. We're at 69 kilos. Just down the middle. And unofficially, we have it around a piece, Frank Georgie and Andrew Keogh. Georgie in the blue, Keogh in the red. Nice side kick yeah. there. But uh, Georgie gets it straight back with a nice leg kick. They're level pegging, we should score it down and just uh, see if it's going to be a close round, how it's going to go. Nothing landing from Keogh there, Andy. Our three ringside judges once again, Justin Gibbons, Jamie Toesland and Danny Jones. He's putting that time. The sponsorship can tend to get a little bit slippery. The signage on the ring with the sweat. Well, certainly because of uh, the smooth finish on the canvas. It, uh, gets a little bit of water on it and it gets very slippery. But the sponsors are a major part of the sport. And uh, big thanks to all the sponsors. The major sponsors, of course, Masashi and Excite getting behind this capacity event. Great event tonight. Andrew Keo for mine on top of this third and final round. It's been willing, make no mistake about that. Temporarily turning the back. We saw Georgie dominate late in round number two with the use of his hands. Looking for the high kick there, Frank Georgie. Little teep kick. There's the right hand, and once again, Keo on the back foot. This is what we love. <laughs> Here they go. I'll tell you what, they've gone at it solidly, punch for punch, toe to toe. Neither fighter willing to take a backward step. Georgie again teeing off. Keo fights back. Blood coming from the nose of Andrew Keo. Oh, Georgie with a wild swing in the red corner. The instructions are being screened by Joe Hilton and company. Brian Murphy having a good, long, hard look at this. What an exchange, what a round, what a fight. Still going, Georgie. And the Murphy
Panthers tell them to keep busy. They've got to love him centering. themselves out. Keo has fought himself to a standstill. Whack with another. Straight oh, in the knees. Here the knees. Keo finding it hard to cover up. Brian Murphy almost stopping it. Keo fighting back. It must be close to bell time. Oh. That was a war for sure, and I tell you what, toe to toe, I reckon that was at least a minute, a minute and a half of uh, neither fighter taking a backward step. Andrew Keogh's knees buckled. Keogh just exchanging big right hand, big left hooks for both from both men, and uh, I reckon Georgie might have just pinched it because he almost buckled uh, Keogh, landed a couple of good knee shots when he had Keogh in the fog, and there you see it overhead. Have a look at the work rate from these two. Neither man wanting to uh, give it up, both with huge resolves, Andy. But just, they wanted this. Just when you thought they couldn't take it up another There's, gear, they did, and that was the left hand that initially rocked Keo. There's a right hand coming. And the knees in the corner. Ferocious from Georgie. A split decision here tonight. The winner from the red corner, Andrew Keo. Keo shakes his head, and I'll have to uh, agree with him. I'll, uh, I'll have to say that was Frankie George's fight. It was around the piece until the last round, and then I'll, not, I'll give the nod away of the blue corner. So uh, 